Yeah, I have ready. Um, I got one of those really annoying windscreen chips the other day. So I thought I'd show you what I did and how I got it fixed. So this is a view of the stone chip on the passenger side of the windscreen. I've tried to enlarge it to show you what sort of size it was, but here it is. Yeah, hi guys, so I'm at uh, Windscreens O'Brien in Fishwick in the ACT to get my chip prepared. As I said, I unfortunately got a stone chip on the windscreen right in the middle of the passenger side and uh, it's always a worry they're going to crack. So getting it repaired while I'm down here in Canberra at the moment. So I should just add that uh, before Windscreens O'Brien actually did the job, they did actually tell me that the repair would not be invisible and that you'd still be able to see something. I think some people think that uh, these things are invisible, but actually they're not invisible. And they did also warn me there is a, a very, very small risk that the windscreen can crack during the procedure. Now they said that's very unlikely, but I thought I'd just give people a heads up that uh, that is a risk apparently that I was not aware of, that the windscreen can crack sometimes uh, due to certain temperatures and the extent of the chip. But they did warn me of that and I did take the risk and everything turned out okay. So unfortunately, uh, Windscreens O'Brien won't let me film inside um, and nobody wants to speak on camera, which is okay. They've got a social media policy, but I just wanted to say that they've done a really good job here repairing the uh, chip on my windscreen. So I had um, I had it, uh, you know, injected with one of these uh, gels that they do, and I'll show you what it looks like. So had the resin injected, and uh, this is the outcome. So it's practically invisible. In fact, I don't even know if you can see it on the windscreen now. Um, it's not invisible, but it is certainly significantly better than the, the chip and when you're looking through from the passenger side uh, you really can't see it so this is actually the view now looking from the passenger side of the car now if you can see that car in front of me it's literally that speck just above the spare tire on the back of that RAV4 in front of me that is basically all you can see from inside of the passenger side of the car so I think the resin fill is good and obviously it's preferable and a lot cheaper to having a new windscreen. So guys, hope that helps. Certainly recommend you get it done.